All right, you guys, so this film gave me all sorts of chills and, and thrills. The one question I had on my mind the entire time was how on earth did you all train for some of these scenes? How intense was the training prior to shooting? Well, we, we trained in lots of different ways. There was physical training in terms of fitness, but there was also tra skill training, like for me, driving the speedboat and underwater work. Um, so we all had different facets to our training, didn't we? Yeah, a lot of it was just going in on your days off to get used to a stunt rig or to practice various skill sets, whatever it may be, just so by the time it got round to shooting, we weren't wasting any time or any takes on, on accidents. Sure, and well, speaking of accidents, were there any scenes? <laughs> Apart from one guy on the <laughs> where, crew, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, were there care. any scenes where I? Because when I watch your characters, I think that they're so pushed to the limit. In real life, do you feel like you were pushed to the limit every day? Yeah, in lots of different ways. But that's kind of the fun of it. Do you know what I mean? You know that that's that's what these films are about. And I think that's why they're so kind of exciting. Is because the audience know that's happening. There's no Absolutely. trickery. We we are being pushed to our limits, not least Thomas. Yes. So this is your third installment to be a part of the Mission Impossible. Fourth. Mm -hmm. Snuck up on me. <laughs> and me. Was the train? Does training is training different each time? Well, when I did Ghost Protocol, uh, that was the first time Benji had been out in the field. So that's when I started to get in trying to get in shape. And I'm not in shape at all in Mission Impossible 3. And then in order to be an agent, you know, you've got to kind of be in shape. So I've as the as the films have progressed, I've refined and 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 uh, modernized my training regime. And I work with a chap called Nick. And uh, and. And I took a few tips from him. We call him Six Pack Peggles on set. <laughs> Six Pack Peggles, where did that name come from? Screws. Yeah. It's because he likes drinking six packs. <laughs> <laughs> six packs while you're training while doing scenes. Awesome. Yes. Great because I, deve I developed some, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a middle aged man, but f through the rigorous training, my abdominal muscles became visible again. Sure. And uh, that's what that was Tom's nickname he for was me. Very, very sexy. So so Simon, you said that you she took loved. some <laughs> so, yeah, right. <laughs> so you took some tips from Henry. Yeah. Henry, what tips were you giving him? Because this is your first mission impossible. Dirty bulks. <laughs> yeah. Dirty bulks. It's not a thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's one of the things we discussed. Dirty bulks not a thing. It's a term which is out there which means you just eat whatever you want to put on mass, but it doesn't work very well. Doesn't work yeah, very well. Don't do it. I was excited for a moment. I was like, "What? There's a thing where you can just eat pizza to get fit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You know, there's actually new, new, new. training involved in yeah. that. <laughs> Good. Okay, so one question for you, Henry. Yes. I'm sure you've been asked this like 60 times. Probably not. When are you bringing the stash back? I don't know. A roll is the next not Superman film. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just. For Just for Superman, for giggles. Yeah, uh, I I don't know. I enjoyed having it for this movie. I think it was it was fun and fitting for the character. But I I think I, I will keep my face clean for a little while. Sorry. You did yeah. you did look okay. you did wear it well. I mean, not many people yeah, can pull uh, off the stash. Not many people can pull off the stash. But it also because it was it wasn't just the tash because it had this. People did, also yeah. go oh, the tash the tash. But it had it, it had a bit of beard yeah. as well. When I when I did have the moustache just by itself, it didn't look so great. No. So I did experiment. But the scruff that. helped. Yes. The scruff helped. Helps balance it. So Tom Cruise doing his own stunts, did you guys feel pressured at all to, to do your own? It's kind of like a really good opportunity, really. Yeah. But when, when you get to, when you have Tom there and he does all his own stunts, it's the doors open for you to do it yourself as well. And uh, I think we both leapt it at this time. Right? We did.